students and teachers test positive after Rajasthan board exams. Odisha cancels pending papers of its higher secondary examination. CBSE to train teachers in experiential learning through Diksha platform. Karnataka Minister denies reports about confusion on valuation of second PU and SSLC exam papers. Harira schools to reopen from July 27th after summer vacation. Good evening and a warm welcome. You are watching Education News Network where you get to watch the latest developments in education at the top of this hour. This is Balaji reporting from ENN and the daily stories are. A class 10th girl student who appeared in the Rajasthan Board of Secondary Examination on June 29th and 30th tested positive for coronavirus disease on June 30th. A sample was taken to the testing centers because her younger sister tested positive on June 27th and is in the government hospital for COVID-19. After the student's report, 357 students who also appeared for the class 10th exam at her examination center and 30 teachers who were on the invigilation duty have been sent to home quarantine, said Kota Chief Medical and Health Officer Dr. B.S. Tanwar. Odisha on Wednesday cancelled the pending examinations of its higher secondary classes a day after the state government said the schools and colleges would be closed till July 31st. School and Mass Education Minister Samir Ranjantas said the pending examinations of higher secondary institutions originally scheduled between March 23rd and 28th for Arts, Commerce, Science and Vocational Education classes now stand cancelled. At least 22 papers of these streams including Biology, Economic Logic, Geography, Computer Applications, Cost Accounting Statistics, Psychology, Tourism and Hospitality, Agriculture, Automotive, Electronics and Hardware and Retail were waiting to be held. The Central Board of Secondary Education will train the teachers in experiential learning through Diksha platform. While announcing the course, Minister of Human Resource Development wrote on Twitter, When our teachers are equipped with 21st century skills, it becomes easier for children to absorb and learn those competencies. When our teachers are equipped with 21st century skills, it becomes easier for our children to absorb and learn those competencies. Karnataka Primary and Secondary Education Minister S. Suresh Kumar on Wednesday played down the reports about confusion regarding the valuation of PUC and SSLC exam papers. Creating confusion has become a habit. There was confusion before the exam, during the exam and now confusion about the valuation of the papers. Kumar told the reporters in Ramnagra when asked about the confusion over the valuation of answer sheets. The Directorate of School Education Haryana on Wednesday declared summer vacations from July 1st to July 26th in all the schools across the state. As per the notification released by the Haryana DSC, all schools in the state will reopen from July 27th. Thank you for watching the Education News Network. For more such videos, do log on to our website which is www.denn.com. And do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Signing off, Balaji.